week, I'm going to discuss about database offline in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So one important point. So why do we need database offline? So I think this is the important point. Suppose application is getting upgraded of front end application. And here disabling database during the upgrade, not the great idea. So simply we make uh, our database offline. So after uh, making offline, so, so you cannot do any update or any or thing like renaming or any modification you cannot do. So that's why we can or uh, we should make database offline. So how do we make so anything in Microsoft SQL Server? So we can do by two ways. First is graphically and second by query. So add here if you right click, okay, and here go to task. Here you can find or take offline. So only need to click this option, take offline. Add here it's a success. One total and one success. Now here after creation, click on close. So here you can uh, check add here item four. It's now offline. Now here after suppose if I want to do some modification. So let's uh, name change the name. So add here I'm going to change add here or paste down. Okay, now so if I try to paste enter, so add here I'm getting the masses. Database item 4 cannot be opened because it is offline. So this type of modification we cannot do. Now suppose if I try to or do something like uh, add here, let's try to click on plus option. So at here we cannot to uh, or click on the plus option. I click but at here it's nothing. It's opening like normal database. So we cannot see at here views, tables, synonyms, and other things. So at here the database item is not accessible. So if you make that offline, so after that we cannot open. So see at here when I click on plus on normal database. After that we can check at here. Or table and here we can create the tables so we cannot do with the offline database so the main reason is so if you put add here any database offline so you cannot do any modification on the database so add here so making a uh, database offline right click after that task and here after you can make that offline so after if you want to make my query, so add here alternate database here. So you can first you can write add here set offline and set online. So add here alternate database here you can write the database name. So I'm going to use add here Adam four. Adam four. Now let's make that online. Online. Now if you execute to this query. So add here command completed successfully. Now if you refresh the database, so database refresh. So after that it's now this is add here. It's or come online. Now here after you can write, you can do any modification on the database, creating query, updating uh, tables, like anything you can do. Now if you want to make that or uh, Add up for again offline. Simply you have to write add here offline. Now here after if you execute this query, so add here command completed successfully. Now here after if you refresh that, so again it's now it become offline. So that's why we are using add here or any database offline. So if make that add here. No need to do any disable only or say uh, make that offline after that you can do any update so it won't affect anything on offline database now here after the next thing is so reading the sql server log files using tsql so if you execute this query so execute a store processor now here make that bigger now here after if you press if you scroll down here you can find a checkbox for database item 4 uh, finished with and here you can read 
this message. So this is information right here. All uh, details about the uh, right here is SPID 54, and here you can find. Now here after, if you not check right here offline database, simply you have to execute this store processor. So right here database, here you can find. Or uh, at this times right here 14 6 2019, and here the time is 38. So it's now 43. And here this is the second and nanosecond. So SPID set interface offline to on for database atom 4. So I just did modification on atom 4 so that here I'm getting this kind of information logged it. And here this time I did modification on offline and hereafter online on the database. So here by using this query we can check that and here database taken offline. So which database has taken offline? So it's a describe. So add here this is to older this or tools are older. Suppose if I do add here making that to online. So add here bring database online. Sorry. So add here Adam is compressed but does not recite read only. So this database is the read only. The file must be decompressed could not uh, restart database. So add here this is add here read only so simply we cannot make it online. So this is the one important point. Now here after retrieve file list of SQL server database which is offline. So I am going to make add here a student database offline task here after take plan. So it's no success. Now here after the next is let's execute this query. So add here now execute. So add here a student database id 11 so and this is the owner id source it's all on display now here you can find collection and many more things so this is the all detail now here after since i have given the star so first that uh, select all those things from the system database and here this is the inner chain so matching with sys database and sys master files now here after if you execute this particular query Okay, so add your database, a student add item 3, item 4. And your file, so this is the log file and MDF file, it's a display. So add here this is the tab, rows, log, it's all a display. Now here you can find the path. So item dot new. And here item dot item underscore new item 3 item 4. So add here by using this, we can check that add here which database is add here offline mode. As a student that I just made, a student Adam 3 and Adam 4, that is offline. And here, Adam 1 is the read only. So, by using this query, retrieve file list of SQL Server database which is offline. Now, here after the next is so you, one important point you should give add here 6, then you get the expected output. So, if you give any other value, so it will not display this all the output so it will not display all offline database output now here after let's scroll down so add here different state of sql server so if you execute this so here you can find name of database here dbid this all those things here now here after so by using select database Add here prospects. So add here this is the item and here is auto sync. So if you execute here this is the zero. Now here after if you so by using add here item so is auto sync so it's not then here it's a displaying zero. So about this one now this function returns the current setting of the specified database option or property. So this is the use now here after if you execute this query. Okay, so at here this is the server name, it's all displaying name of at here database and here recovery model simple full and here here you can find which database is the offline, online and suspect. So here since Adam 1. Okay, Adam 1 at here this is the read only. So at here by executing this query, so it's the displaying which database is the online, offline and suspect. So at here dev underscore 
so at this the recovery pending mode so that here this database is the suspect mode so this is the important point and important queries where we can find which database is the offline online and suspect and this video i discuss how to create any database offline and here why do we make any database offline so one time going to repeat so we are making database offline or uh, offline because at here we don't want any modification on the database so after making offline you can anything on the database and if there is any updates then happening on the server so it won't affect on the database so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you